Well, for three decades <laughs> after the original film was released, it has just been announced that a fourth Mad Max film will be produced right here in Australia. And that's great news for one British fan who's risked his life savings on the belief that thousands of others share his passion. 28 years ago, Adrian Bennett saw a movie that changed his life. It's taken him from Bradford to the outback. Coming soon to a town nowhere near you, Mad Max, the museum. The Mad Max movies launched Mel Gibson's career and ended Adrian's as a panel beater. From the opening credits of the first film to the closing credits of Mad Max 2, my jaw was on the floor and I was just blown away by, by what I'd seen. And, and that, that really got me into it then and I was, uh, I was really kind of just uh, obsessed with finding out more and more about, uh, about the film. He sold up and this year brought his family to Silverton, where the second movie was made. He built replicas of the cars in the film, including this interceptor. People wave and take pictures and they may come up the side of you with the video camera. It's just a great feeling. They expect an Aussie to be driving the car, but not a Yorkshireman. Every leading man needs a co-star. Mel's was called simply Dog. And Adrian's female sidekick bears an undeniable resemblance. <laughs> She's scratching my pen. <laughs> but the real love of Adrian's life is long-suffering Linda. When I first met Adrian, he was into it anyway, so it's normal. That's who we were. And it escalated and grew from an hobby to an obsession to here. Do you ever wish you'd fallen in love with the sound of music or South Pacific instead? <laughs> no. No, not really. No. Next year, Adrian plans to put his collection of memorabilia on show. And this is one of the bad guys from the film. Now, you might wonder who on earth is going to visit his collection, considering the population of Silverton is just 51. Well, believe it or not, more than 100,000 people come here every year to enjoy the scenery and to take in where so many films and TV commercials have been made. His local pub has its own interceptor out front, and the walls are lined with photos of Mad Max and other movies which were filmed in an area dubbed the Outbacks Hollywood. So the locals have embraced his idea lives and breathes Mad Max. It's actually hard to hold a conversation with him if it's not related to Mad Max one way or another, you know. So I think he's, he's that passionate about it, uh, he'll fulfil his dream for sure. And to add to the momentum, the director of the trilogy, George Miller, has just confirmed that there will be a fourth Mad Max film and it'll be shot in Silverton next year. Considering the movie is set in the future when petrol is scarce, it was fitting that Adrian should run out of fuel for another of his vehicles oh, yes. and had to siphon some from his interceptor. He did get it going, just in time to scare off one of the locals. This might all seem like a mad idea, but one Yorkshireman is living life to the max. It's a great sound on a Monday morning. That is. Yeah. <laughs>